Hello everyone, we're down here with another Grounded video. Today's video I'll be going over mutations and armor perks. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to just jump straight into the mutations. I have, we'll start here at the top left and we'll work our way across. So we're going to start with buff lungs. You inhale and your cells burn bright with an enhanced energy capacity. This is one of the ones you can buy from Burgle. You can buy it for 5,000 raw science. You get it from the Grave Robbery Sleuth, Chip Sleuth Mission or the Ant Hill Chip. It's 5,000 raw science, and it gives you increased stamina. Um, it's quite nice to have, especially if you're using something like the Mint Mace and you burn through stamina quickly. That's one I might suggest try using. Next, we're going to go to Grassmaster. Now, Grassmaster, like an insatiable lumberjack, you're becoming a living lawnmower. Your intimate knowledge of chopping grass allows you to topple them with increasing ease. This is one you earn. So it has three levels. You see phase one, two, and three. Phase one is 50 blades of grass cut down. Phase two is 200. Phase three is 500 blades of cut, uh, grass cut down. It makes it to where you cut down grass very quickly with an axe. On light attacks with just grass master, it's two swings and it's down. It with an axe and grass master at three and you hold down the swing option. For me, it's left click on the mouse. Max will, or your character, We'll, charge, we'll hold the swing back and just basically do a heavy hit and it'll be one hit for a blade of grass. Next, we're going to go to Rock Cracker. A path of destruction is left in your wake and it's clear that busting makes you feel good. Your little arms bring hammers down with, an, with ever growing efficiency. This one also has three phases. It's one that you unlock. Um, it's 25 uh, either pebbles or um, quartzite broken open. Then there's that's at phase one. Phase two is 75. Phase three is 100. So if you go through the anthill, clearing out all 14 blocks uh, every few days, the second trip through, you'll unlock rock, uh, rock cracker at phase one. And you just keep going. It also works for pebbles and when you're breaking open clay with a shovel because it does actually affect those. So rock cracker at three with a shovel pops open clay in two swings. Next, we have Ant Nihilator. Now, Ant Nihilator is the ant has become a familiar threat and you begin to know your enemy inside and out death and devastation greet all ants that face you it also has three phases you do more damage to ants based on enemies and level three increases resistance to ants as well you can kill for phase one kill 50 ants phase two 100 phase three 50 and that is you actually uh, just killing them you know, I don't really think it matters. I don't remember if it mattered if I used gas hours or while I was swinging. You just swing at them. Next, we have Lil Fist. Your tiny limbs flail and crash upon foe after foe. With every swing, these bitty bones of yours harden and muscles tighten. It has phase one. That's it. Once you unlock it, you're good to go. Once it's unlocked, you have two times damage with your fists. To unlock it, you have to kill 50 creatures with your fists. I would suggest things like aphids, weevils, lawn mites, and grubs, Those as those die pretty quick to fists. Next, we have Coup de Gras, which is discovering a beacon of hope in the darkness, lifts your will to survive. Bursts of inspiration flash before your eyes in the heat of battle as you land blows one can only describe as lucky. So for that one, you actually have to discover the four-leaf clover landmark. I'll show you where that's at in just a second. But this does give you a chance for critical hits. So that actually makes it, and it's a critical hit for anything you do, not just in um, combat. For cutting grass, breaking rocks, coup de gras works for that as well. But if you're looking at your map, and you've already located the yoked girth head, you're going to go northeast of that to this area right here. You can see this little uh, point coming out of the ground. You're going to be just south of that. You're going to look in the water underneath a rotten leaf that's kind of half on its side and you'll see a tunnel down in the water you'll swim down through there and it'll take you underground and you'll pop up into a pocket of air right here by the four leaf clover there's some quartzite in that area too so bring a hammer if you want to collect the quartzite while you're there bring a light because that tunnel does get very dark um i would suggest a guild tube or a bubble helmet they're not necessary but i suggest them just to make it a little bit easier on yourself there's also a scheme on the way through there called chub series it's a nice blue all right, next we're going to go to Juicy. Like a true bookworm, you can't resist a wall of text and encyclopedia of knowledge of beverage ingredients enriches you. So you get that by discovering all five juice boxes on the map. So we have the Peach Fuzz Puncho in the Edge of the Haze. 
Uh, you either have to run up to that, take a little bit of damage, or bring a gas mask. Then over here in the hedge, which this is the where the, the paper clip is, if you work way up through the hedge, you can get to the apricot poncho. Then we have up here by the edge of the pond, the armed raspberry poncho with probably one of the best building spots in the game right now since there aren't too many uh, enemies nearby. It's right here on this big flat rock. Then just northwest of Spade Gulch, you have this field station and you have the Lemon Crime Puncho, which is right here. And then probably the first one you found because the game starts you here, the game sends you to the Mysterious Machine, and then it sends you to the tree, which means you're going to pass right by the Tropicot Puncho. So if you're near the Mysterious Machine, there's that one. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. It took me a while to get mine to unlock. I actually had to message the uh, Obsidian team, and they finally helped me get it unlocked. But for that one with Juicy, thirst and hunger decreases slower. So if you're having an issue where you're running out of food, running out of something to drink, and you might want to have, find a way to you know help with that until you have a better setup for food and water, Juicy is a good one to have. Next is the one that nobody has maxed out yet because there aren't enough landmarks in the game. Natural Explorer. Tendrils of your memory map every bump, crack, and path between each new landmark found until the lawn becomes as familiar as the back of your hand. Powered by intuition, your tiny feet skitter through the muck and weeds ever quicker. Right now, there's only enough landmarks to get to phase two, but eventually there will be more. So the first level is five landmarks. The second level is 20 landmarks. The third level is 50. And it increases your speed when running around the yard. So if you want to go really fast, you pair that with some spider armor, and you're good to go. Next, we have Cardio Fan. Exhausting your tiny body over and over again, your cells adopt a more efficient respiration process, meaning your stamina regen has been increased. So by that, you have to exhaust, for, there's three phases, level one or phase one, exhaust the player's stamina 100 times. Phase two, exhaust it 250 times. And phase three, exhaust it 500 times. If you're running around a lot, that's pretty easy to do. Run it all the way to the bottom, let it regen, run all the way to the bottom, and just keep going. Rinse, repeat. Now, this one requires you to play in multiplayer. You have to have friends come over. They have to come to your world for this to work. It's called Reliable Friend. Life in the lawn is filled with narrow escapes, and you've been right there for all of it. Your muscle memory mixed with hope and determination makes a harrowing rescue all the more probable. So you incre this increases player revival speed. It has three phases uh, or levels. Level 1, revive a friend five times. Level 2, 15 revives. Level 3, 30 revives. So if you have some friends come over and they literally just start knocking each other out and you're just standing there doing the revives, which is what happened in my world because I had some guys that thought it'd be fun just to beat each other up, I just revive them while they keep knocking each other out. It worked great. I got my mutation completed. The only way to get it done is to play multiplayer. Then we have Sharpshooter. A film crawls across the surface of your eyes, allowing you to focus with deadly clarity, deal increased damage with all bow-type weapons. So that just that increases your bow damage. Now it has three, three phases or levels. Level 1 is 50 creatures killed with a bow, and that's a direct impact of an arrow. So gas arrows fired next to something do not work for the sharpshooter. It has to be direct impact from the arrow. With, uh, level 2, 100 creatures killed with a bow. And level 3, 200 creatures killed with a bow. Now if you're a pretty good shot, lawn mites, aphids, weevils uh, are a good way to work on maxing this out as they uh, die very fast. Now, the next thing we have over here is Meat Shield. Your size to meat ratio is off the charts, and you take hits like a champ. You can buy this one from Burgle for 5,000 raw science, and it uh, raises your overall health. This one is found in the Grasslands Burgle Chip, which is that Burgle Chip sitting on the floor right next to Burgle when you start, uh, when you start into the game, when you first go in there. Hold on, I hit a button on my thing. There we go. Next, we have Fresh Defense. A plume of mint dust envelops you and sends a cool wave rippling through your skin. Cells activate a fresh layer of combat to sting all that stinks and burns. So this is increased dan or increased um, defense against stink bugs, bombardier beetles, and the haze. 
So any 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 of those attacks, and it's not the melee attacks from stink bugs and bombardiers. It's the it's the stink bugs gas attack, the bombardiers acid attack, and of course the air and the haze. Fresh defense does work there quite well. I tested this uh, in the haze, and without it, it was ten ticks of damage from full health was half. With fresh defense, it took thirteen ticks of damage to take the same amount of same amount of damage. So it is a decent little increase as far as defense goes. In order to get this, you just have to break open a, the, the mints with your level 2 insect hammer and pick up a piece of mint, and you get the mutation just by picking up the mint. Now, we're going to go over to... Oh, my character apparently is thirsty. One second. Alright, back to Rosal. Now... Now we're on to Chopper. Some of the newer ones that have been added in some of the more recent updates. Fury and Bloodlust pump through your arteries, fueling an efficient flow to hacking and chopping muscles. Axes are an extension of your angry little body. Basically, you increase damage with one-handed axes. I don't know why I said one-handed. One second. So you can get the... It's increased damage with axes. So in order to unlock this, it is... 50 creature kills with an axe is level 1 or phase 1. Phase 2, uh, 100 creature kills with an axe. And phase 3 is 200 creatures killed with an axe. Quite useful when you're cutting grass to have these two on. In case you get bothered by a bug or whatever. I always like to run this. Grassmaster with Chopper and Coup de Gras. So in case I get bothered by a mosquito, which you can hear in the background. The helicopter sound. In case I have to get into a fight, I have I don't have to switch up any weapons or anything, and I can do some decent damage with my axe. Another, you know, obviously, same thing applies. Lawn mites, aphids, weevils, grubs are a great way to work on any of these since they die so fast. Next, we have Smasher. Now, with Smasher, is heavy strokes of power flood your little limbs to bring hammers down with unmatched force and intensity. Equipped uh, with a hammer, your enemies will know true pain. This is the insect hammer or the pebble hammer. Um, the mint mace mallet, mint mallet now does not work for this one. It works for the a mutation that's coming up uh, a little bit later. But with the for smasher, uh, that's the increased damages. Increased damage with one-handed hammers. Now for this one, we're gonna. It's gonna be 50 kills with a hammer is uh, phase one. 100 kills is phase two. 200 kills is phase three. Next on, the, on my list is Daredevil. Daredevil is the third one that you can buy from Burgle. Daredevil is powered by a perpetual flow of adrenaline as you skitter and leap through the yard. Risk assessment has no place in your moment-to-moment -moment thoughts. Repeated trial and error lets you take leaps of faith with confidence. Basically, you take reduced fall damage. You will take a small chunk of damage when you drop off of a very tall tower or a zip line as opposed to dying. And you get that out of the hedge burgle chip or the jungle temple um, chip sleuth mission. And that's also 5,000 raw science. I remember when I did it, it was more. They've reduced the prices. Next we have Javelin Ear. Now with Javelin Ear, range is your greatest ally as you reach out and stab your foes from afar. Spears are increasingly deadly in your hands uh, and when thrown. So this is the Pebblet Spear, the, the new Stinger Spear that's been added with 6.0 update, which came out just a few days ago, or the Bone Trident. And you can either throw them, which is kind of, kind of fun, or just run around stabbing a whole bunch of stuff uh, in the face. Uh, once again, Lawn Mites, Aphids, Weevils, Grubs, uh, any of the things that die really fast, that's the best way to rank this up. And it's also three phases. Phase 1, kind of notice the pattern here. Phase 1 is 50 kills with a, uh, with a spear. Phase 2 is 100 kills with a spear. And Phase 3 is 200 kills with a spear. I had fun with mine. I made 20-something um, pebblet spears and th threw them at everything in repeated succession. After Because I hop out, I equipped them all and just started throwing them. It was a lot of fun. Next, we have Assassin. Assassin is blades blur in your hands as you swing them with absolute precision. Daggers are your weapon of choice and ensure your, flo your foes die swiftly. This increases damage with daggers. 
As with the previous ones, it's three phases. 50 kills with a dagger is phase one. 100 kills with a dagger is phase two. 200 kills with a dagger is phase three. Now, the interesting part about this is if you have assassin paired with grass master and you want to cut grass with a dagger, you can uh, do the heavy attack, which is the hold down the swing button instead of just click it. And your character will hold his arm behind him for a second, charge up, swing, and cut the grass in one chop. Next, we have Martine. And Martine is the push and pull of thick, rich pond water coaxes your gummy little body into becoming a part of this world. Your permeable skin begins to utilize an electro electrochemical gradient that propels your limbs like mighty flagella and aids in respiration. This means you swim faster and you can hold your breath underwater longer. Now, for this one to unlock this one, I've always thought it was just to keep swimming around, and that is actually not correct. It is to discover three underwater landmarks. And by that, I mean if you discover this is not underwater. The sunken pot, the uh, wedding ring, and even T-Rex. These also are landmarks, too. So, all of these, we have the T-Rex, the pond hatch, the pond dome, the pond lab, the ring, the sunken pot, the depth's mouth. Basically, if you're swimming along the bottom without going into here, and you, you can swim over these three pretty easily. For this one, you have to go down into the hole, but you can get there also quite easily because there's plenty of air. But discovering any of these, not the greenhouse, that's my base there, but any of these, three of them, and you get Martine. And finally, we have the newest one that came out with zero uh, patches 6.0 which is Barbarian. Strong and reckless, you pride yourself in using the biggest weapons possible. Your muscular arms have no problem swinging clubs with great force. So for this one, what the clubs are referring to, the spiky sprig, the ant club, or the newly named mint mace are all clubs and all affect this. And as you see, it's phase three, so 50 kills for phase one, 100 kills for phase two, 200 kills for phase three. Once you get this to phase three, the mint mace plus some ladybug armor and barbarian at phase three plus maybe some coup de gras and nothing stands a chance when you go after it. It's quite fun to run around with and use um, and it's always fun to kind of go through and mix and match your different mutations for different things. So people always ask me, how are you cutting grass with a dagger in one hit? Well, grass master, assassin, coup de gras plus uh, the heavy attack and it cuts it quite easily. Now we're going to go over some of the armor bonuses. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of armor. So for the clover, which is the, uh, there's no tier to it like these are. So for clover, there's no tier. There's fuller, meaning if you go to your OS, they've changed the way this looks. You have your scab meters, you have your consumable properties, and you have your effects. So for fuller, you're, you stay full longer, as in your food does not deplenish as as, uh, as quickly when you're running around doing things. And that's per piece of armor. These are the armor pieces. Then there's a set bonus called Moist. And if we scroll down here to set bonuses, and we start looking, you're squishy and retain water well. So by having the full set on, you each one of these means your hunger depletes slower. The full set, your thirst depletes slower. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and put on the next set, where we can only see out of one eye. You have max health per piece of acorn armor. So each piece is where you get the max health from. Then you have a set bonus of uncrackable. So we're going to go back here. We'll scroll up, even though it says max health, and it says right there, more max health. Very self-explanatory. Now we're going to scroll down to set bonuses and look for uncrackable, and it's right here. You are a tough nut to crack and hard to stun. In other words, you have more max health per piece, and with the full set on, you are uh, stun resistant. So if you've ever been fighting and your character's been knocked down because of a, a heavy hit or attack from a uh, such as like a soldier, and they knock me down a good bit, this would help uh, help to prevent that. Next, the armor that pretty much everybody wears for building because of the hauling strength 
Each piece gives you an extra plus one, either grass plank or weed sim on your shoulder, which is quite nice. And then you have the set bonus of human ant. So we're going to go down here and I'm going to go back up, even though it's very self-explanatory in some of these. Hmm. That one's actually not listed, but we all know that when you wear a full set of ant armor without anything else, you can carry eight pieces of grass or weed sims on your shoulder versus five. And then human, the ants see you as one of them. Meaning you can run around the ants, especially the soldiers, and they won't attack you unless you attack them first. In which case, you might have a bit of an issue. Because the ant armor is not the best for fighting. It's great for building, though. Next, we're going to switch over to the grub set. And you see each, each piece increases your max stamina. Which is listed right here. The max stamina is per piece. The side effect, the set effect, I'm sorry, is called plump and juicy. Now, if we go down here, plump and juicy, you are absorbent and porous and retain water very well, meaning you don't get thirsty as fast while wearing the full set of grub armor. And then the max stamina comes per piece. Now we'll move on. We have probably the best fighting set in the game because if you like to block a lot, and I'm getting better at that, you have increased blocking strength per piece. As you if you put the shield, the new uh, shield as well gives you blocking strength as well. So you can have your blocking strength at, at max when you have the Weevil shield along with the three pieces of the Ladybug armor. And then you have the set bonus of Scarlet Embrace. So we're going to go back here to the back. Right here. You're a tough nut to crack and hard to stun. This also is very similar to the uh, Acorn armor as far as not being able to stun so well. But this is per piece of armor you're wearing. And then you get Scarlet's Embrace, which is enri enriched blood courses through you, through you and heals over time. So it's an auto healing effect. You won't have to drink a smoothie or uh, use a bandage if you can get out of combat and just kind of wait and stand around a little bit or just run around and not get in combat. This will heal you over time because of Scarlet's Embrace, as long as you're wearing all three pieces. So anti-stun, self-healing. Now we have... The B armor, which just came out in patch 6.0 just a few days ago. And each piece increases your sprint distance. And the set bonus is called Pollen Shot, which is a very new one. So sprint distance reduces the stamina cost of sprinting, meaning you can run further. Kind of self-explanatory. But Pollen Shot is down here. Your arrows are quite stunning. In other words, your arrows never had a chance of stunning any anything. Like some of your... Um, hang on. Some of your stuff has massive stun effect. Well, now your arrows can have that too. I'm going to run up to my base where I need some water. I'm going to leave the museum. So with the B armor on, you can sprint further. And you can stun things with direct arrow hits. That stun effect does not affect the gas. It only affects direct hits with the arrow. Okay, back to what we were doing. Next is going to be the spider armor. Which is my favorite for running around the yard for the extra speed. And for this one, you have the quickness. And each piece you wear makes you go a little bit faster. I know people say that two pieces of this plus the aphid slippers is the fastest. I've tested it. It's the same speed. And this has defense, whereas aphid slippers do not. Because if we look at aphid slippers... They give you the same thing. So these do not make you any faster than this set here. I have tested it. And then there is the set bonus Hunter's Prowess. So we've already gone over the quickness is just run faster. But Hunter's Prowess, your body recycles energy with increased efficiency. Basically like having hyper stamina. At least that's how it used to be. They renamed hyper stamina to Hunter's Prowess. You just have... Uh, better use of your stamina, therefore you can uh, run a little bit faster as well as regen a lot faster. I mean, run a lot further, not faster. And then, of course, the final set is the Koi Armor. And then the Koi Armor gives you perfect block, so if you get... It makes it easier for you to get perfect blocks, I believe. I don't really use it a lot because I don't block a lot, but that's perfect block. And we can look at it in the back, plus Dazzling Riposte. I think I said that right. 
So perfect block extends the perfect block timing window so it makes it easier to get a perfect block. So you don't have to be quite as precise. And then dazzling riposte. Enemies you perfect block are filled with self-doubt. Interesting. So if you're a person who likes to block a lot, this might be another one for you. This is another very good set for those people who like to use the block ability as well. Now I'll go over a few other pieces of gear as well. So we have the aphid slippers, which gives you the quickness, no defense, well, almost no defense, which is for the beginning player. But once you get the full set of spider gear, they don't make you any faster. They give you the exact same thing, the quickness. The defense is just there for the knee pad. So this is still better. It's the same speed with aphid slippers, but you get the full set of defense, plus you get the set bonus. So uh, once you get to this, aphid slippers are no longer a thing you want to wear because this is actually better. As well as this doesn't wear out just by running around it. I've noticed aphid, aphid slippers, while you're running around in them, they do wear out. We have the eye patch plus, which gives you uh, higher attack, more attack stamina, but you take more damage. That's with the minus damage resistance. So that is a, a negative effect. And if we look up here, I don't think we're going to see that. Nope. That's okay. But, oh wait, I went to the wrong spot. Sorry about that. So yeah, you have more attack damage, and that's attack with anything. So that's a really good, really good way to for attacks and stuff. Unless you're looking for armor set bonuses, this is quite good. Then you have the Might Hat, which gives you some defense and hyper stamina. Meaning that your stamina lasts longer and regenerates faster. As it increases that stamina efficiency. So you can... You, your stamina takes longer to deplete and replenishes quicker. That's what hyper stamina is, and that is also what, hang on, I'll find it. Hunter's prowess is right here, increased efficiency with your stamina. When they say energy, they mean stamina. Obviously gas mask, uh, gas guard. And it has a little bit of defense. It's for running in the haze. It's also if you're going to be melee fighting uh, stink bugs, I would recommend using that because if they do their gas attack, this will prevent you from getting uh, knocked down while uh, in, in close range or in close proximity. We're going to scroll past some of the sets. One of the new pieces that was added with 6.0 was the new Firefly headlamp. And it's just a well-crafted helmet that grows grants light while leaving both hands free. Now, if you're a person who plays in third person, only the light directly in front of your character is going to be lit up, such as where that infected weevil, the, the stuffed infected weevil is, but everything to my left and right would not be lit up. But if you play first person, pretty much everything right in front of where your character is, where you're turning your camera, that's going to be lit up. Only problem is, you can't use it in the haze, you'll die to the haze. You can't use it in the anthill because the ants will attack you. you. can't use it underwater because you might drown. Still really cool, though. Next, we're going to skip that. We're going to go to Fin Flops Plus, which... To get Fin Flops Plus, you find the Sunken Treasure Burgle Chip, and I'll have links to all these uh, chips and everything in the description below. And it gives you the recipe for, instead of having just swim speed, you get major swim speed. The swim speed increase is, if you're paying attention, noticeable, but if you're not, okay, maybe not so. But once you get the recipe for it, that's the only ones you can make, and you swim a little bit faster. It's the same ingredients, it's just faster swim speed. We have our Bubble Helmet, which uh, you have to get the... You have to analyze the sunken bone to get that, I believe. And it's Veteran Diver. So instead of having 80 seconds with the Guild Tube or 40 seconds with nothing, you go up to 160 seconds as the base time of air underwater. That can be increased with Martine and Liquid Gills to get up to 223 seconds. But uh, that's uh, the Bubble Helmet. It's great for exploring, the, uh, exploring down in the pond. It's great for if you just need to go down there to get your... Um, your muscle sprouts is not necessary, but it is, it's nice to have. The guild tube is your beginning underwater breathing apparatus. You have to, this is easier to get than the bubble helmet. It is your junior diver. It gives you up to 80 seconds of air without Martine. With Martine, I think it's like 85 seconds, um, which is still really nice. Makes it easy for you to get down there to the area by a T-Rex to get the, the sunken bone for the bubble helmet. And this one's pretty easy to make as long as you have some silk rope and spinners already. And the only, piece, the only piece of uh, tier 3 armor we have, it's been in the game for a bit now, is the Marksman's Cap. Um, analyze the Crow Feather, it'll unlock the recipe, and it increases your bow attack damage. So an in, a tier 2 insect bow, plus the tier 2 
uh, feather arrows plus that hat is max direct hit damage with your arrows it's very very effective let me make sure I didn't miss any armor I did not okay so I kind of want to go over that I know I've had viewers request that I do a mutation in the video so I figured okay I'll get that knocked out and then I wanted to throw in because I've had a lot of people coming asking what's pollen shot how do you get pollen shot but those are the um, the, the mutations and the armor set bonuses that are currently in the game. I got to pull its armor back in the museum. I just kind of want to go over that with everybody real quick and, and kind of explain one, how to get it to what they do. Uh, just kind of help people out with some information. But if you guys like this content and like to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. And until the next video, y'all have a good one.